we can try it. You have to press like this. So I'm gonna run away. Oh, sounds like a birdie. Yeah, I like that. Can you pass it to Nakoa? You can try it. You guys wanna try the bird collar? Yeah, come have a seat. Yeah. Kind of have to, have to push a little bit. Like that? Push, and then you can call uh -huh. different kinds of birds with that. Pretty cool. Cool. Cool, right? Okay. You want to try? It works with friction. The metal rubs against the wood and it makes that sound. Oh, Avery's helping to pass out. Thank you, Avery. know each other so we're gonna go around and you'll say your name right you're gonna say your name and then you're gonna tell us something that a birdie does okay so like you could say a birdie tweets or a birdie eats worms or something like that and we're gonna... you're right so what is your name tell the whole class your name is Avery and Avery said a birdie eat worms so we're gonna sing a little song about birdies eating worms you ready maybe you guys know this the melody to this one this is the way we eat our worms, eat our worms, eat our worms. This is the way we eat our worms early in the morning. Very good. And do you want to tell everyone your name? What's your name? Persephone. Persephone. And what does a birdie do, Persephone? Lays eggs. Ready, everyone? This is the way we lay our eggs, lay our eggs, lay our eggs. This is the way we lay our eggs early in the morning. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, they're climbing the tree. They're like up like birds, right? My up in the tree like birdies. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell us your name? Who wants to tell us their name? No, that's okay. We can come back to you later. Hey. Oh, they fly? Oh, I'm sorry. I saw her eat flies. Ready? This is the way we fly away, fly away, fly away. This is the way we fly away so early in the morning. Anyone read this book before? No? Yay, it's our first time all together. It's called Mama Builds a Little Nest. And it's kind of a long book. Maybe we'll just go through a little bit. Mama built a little nest inside a sturdy trunk. She used her beak to tap, 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 the perfect place to bunk. Does anyone know what this kind of bird is called? Woodpecker. You got it, a woodpecker. Mama built a little nest, a cup so wee and snug, with walls of moss and roof of sky and silky cobweb rug. It's a hummingbird. This is a teeny tiny little bird called a hummingbird. Has anyone ever seen one? Before in real life? Ollie has a hummingbird feeder at home. Do you ever get hummingbirds there? Barely ever. Barely. <laughs> Maybe it's not the right season? I'm not sure. <coughs> Mama built a little nest. Well, actually, she didn't. She found one that another made, and then she laid me in it. So some birdies don't even make their own nests. They find a nest that's already in a tree, and then they lay their eggs in them. They borrow the nest. Mama built a little nest. My daddy helped out too. They placed my egg upon his feet. That's where I hatched and grew. Who knows what this bird is? A penguin. Where do penguins live? Can we find one here in Florida? Different kinds of nests that the mommies can make. Right, all the birds. So what we're gonna do now, Caleb and Nakoa made you guys some spy glasses, like telescopes. We're gonna go bird watching. We're gonna take a quick nature walk and we're going to bird watch. Okay? So if you wanna use a spyglass, and we can try to spot some bird nests or some birds of our own. Here's some more guys. All right, so I don't know if I have enough spy. I have three more spy glasses here if anybody likes. Wanna go grab one? Ollie, you want one? And we are going to 
Go for a nature walk, a bird watching walk. And if you find a nest or if you find a bird, I want you guys to let us all know. Should we get started on our bird watching walk? Yes, 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 yes. You have the number? Yeah. Right, we can look high and we can look low. You saw a butterfly. I mean um, a bird. You saw a bird? Yeah. Let's see if we can find a nest. I think all of our winter birds already flew away for the summer. You know where the bird is? It's a crab. Do you think that maybe this could be someone's home? Crab. Yeah. You think it's a crab home? Yeah, crab. Yeah. You sure it is? It's really dark in there. It is dark in there. If these were real, I could see better. More crabs? Too bad we're not on the lookout for crab nests. I'm wondering if we can build our own nest. Do you think we could find Yay! enough stuff to make our own nest? We just need sticks and leaves. Sticks and leaves, that's right. We could find sticks and leaves. What other things could we use to build a nest? I don't, I don't really know. I know. I got some stuff in my pocket. What else do you think we could use? Um, we could rip up some moss and make stuff. That's right. We could use moss. And Oliver had a great idea. Maybe we could use those for eggs, very good. A coconut egg. Because we can use some of these mangrove seeds mm -hmm. to build our nest. So mm -hmm. we can do that. Should we get started building a nest? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's collect a few things and we'll carry it back to our area, our classroom. And we'll build a nest. That's a great egg for our nest. No. No. We're going to make one big nest. Okay, so one big nest. Like anything you find that might be good for building a nest. Let's take it back with us. Very nice. Nakoa found some good things for a nest. Nakoa found some good things for a nest. We're going to carry them back, okay? Let's grab a few things for our nest. I'm gonna make a nest in the tree. That's awesome. How about we make one in the tree? That is a great one. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a couple of these too. Look at these with lots of leaves on them. Right? We like to camouflage our nest. What? Are you helping with the nest? Mm -hmm. Oh, and look, there's something we can use. 
can over here and use that. That looks like it's already a nest. It can be soft also. Yay! Soft or soft. Try out the nest. I heard a birdie. So, for the mommies, the mommies that are still here, <laughs> what kinds of things did you guys see during the activity? Like, what were some things that stood out? And was there, were there any like behaviors that you noticed like with the kids? Like you said, she was engaged with the story during the walk. I didn't go on the walk. You didn't go on the walk. They all like the little telescope. The little telescope. Yeah, that is a good idea. So, yeah, to get them not just a nature walk, but then like an activity they can personally Yeah. Do. So in, in child development, there are certain behaviors that are universal. So regardless of the culture, the country, wherever the children live, and one of those behaviors is called transporting. So I saw the kids were all engaging in that. Um, kids by nature, they like to collect things, they make collections and they transport them. They might fill a bucket or a box and they move things. And and so that's what we were engaging in, right? In, uh huh. Yep, and teamwork, right? We engaged in some teamwork and um, some communication, right? We were communicating on where to put our nest and what to use to build it. Did you guys enjoy making the nest? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. I wish I wish it was spring so it won't be that hot. That hot. I know. We live in Florida. That's why all the birdies leave us in the summertime. <laughs> like, no birdies, come back. Mommy, why in the winter <laughs> it's hot? We were in New York, here in Florida? Mm -hmm. Because it's tropical here, so it's not always cool weather in Florida. Yeah. What was your favorite part? Building the nest. Georgie, what was your favorite part? Did you have a favorite part? Or Persephone? You had a favorite part? You didn't? Did you like it? Everything? What was the best thing? What, what do you want to do again? What do you want to do again? Come okay. on. <laughs> sure. Uh, my favorite part was exploring, looking for materials to make the nest. Oh, cool. That was fun. We had a lot to work with, and you guys even found worms and eggs. Dad, that was very nice. Drop this down in my pocket? Real eggs. They were using their imagination. They had coconuts and some kinds of a fruit that they found, um, shaped like an egg. I think if this is avocado. Avocado. That would be a good egg, egg shape, wouldn't it? It looks like an avocado. We could have sushi if you want. Yeah. He's tricking me. Well, thank you guys for playing with me today. I, I didn't ask for what's up. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Marlo Planis, and I'm hoping to bring Tinker Garden to the Miami area. And special thanks to my cameraman, Caleb. Yeah.